20 years in prison and a stern lecture from the judge. And that's what Matthew Hogan got for leading police on a gunfire punctuated chase in 2017 that covered two counties. Paul Venema with the plea deal and the sentencing. This is where a police chase ended in mid-August 2017. Matthew Hogan crashed into a utility pole, ending a run from sheriff's deputies that began in Comal County almost an hour earlier. You didn't get out of your car either. You stayed in there. You had the gun on yourself for a little while. During this remote sentencing hearing with Hogan in jail, prosecutors urged Judge Moore to sentence Hogan to the maximum under the plea deal, 25 years in prison. Functionally, he held the city of San Antonio hostage for approximately 30 to 45 minutes. From the defense, a plea for leniency. There's no excuse. He understands that. He's motivated for whatever you want to give him, Judge. The judge gave him 20 years. You're very dangerous, sir, and uh, it doesn't give me any pleasure to sentence somebody to, to prison, but in your case, I want you to stay there, uh, and I want you to be on supervised institutional supervision uh, for a very long time. He gave him credit for time he's already been in jail, almost three years, and made what's called an affirmative finding that a deadly weapon was used. That means Hogan must serve one half of his sentence before parole is a consideration. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.